all our lovely students of Aspire Academy and also the students who haven't joined Aspire yet. A very good afternoon, a very good evening to you all. Everybody must be getting very anxious now that the exams are literally around the corner. So I just wanted to wish you all the best and we'll give you just some tips, some strategies for your last minute preparations so that you can do your best and get the best results for all the hard work that you've done in the last year. First of all, try not to get very anxious. I know it's easier said than done, but the more relaxed you are, the more chilled out you are, the better your brain will perform and the better you will do on the day of the exam and hence a better result. Just like you guys, I had done my exams over the years. In fact, even at this age, I'm still doing my exams. So I know every exam is quite difficult. Every exam is a kind of torture, but then life itself is an exam too. So, Moikodai, Eitwe Pavisilu, the Eitwe Ta Arweta Purika, Eitwe Purika, the Arpiso, Arweta Purika, Hibo, Gute Zibontwe Purika, Purika to Divoila Hibo, Bessi Sinta Kori, Bessi Poi Kori Lavnai, Iman in Zikini Costa Korisilu, a Costa to K, a Puricardina. I mean, at a performance, just like stage of Utiakon Natokura, Bagangua, Tiktaneke Purika, Bohikon Likatu, a get honor ekota. So, the age old saying that practice makes a man perfect is really true. You know, the more you fail to practice is more you practice to fail in a way. But I know all of you must have done a lot of hard work, but it's not just about working hard. It's also about working smart. And now these last few days, the last few moments are really, really important so that you can use every minute to the best of your capacity, the best of your brain's capability to retain. So try and do the smart things. It is always easier to be better when you are good than to become good from the point zero. So focus more on your strong subjects. Try and do the best and practice. Make sure you, you divide your time of the day for each subject, at least an hour each for every subject every day so that you can at least be in touch with every single subject because whether we like it or not, you get judged on the marks you secure for every subject, not just the ones where you do well or the ones that you like. Come second, a gonta holo, at a subject, touch curriculum. 
when I was doing my metric examination, my Kekumoy Sesta Korisilu, the last or Kedin, Ziman Paru, Himan Porhu, good take a subject, at least the term is skim reading Buliko, at least page page by page, Ultia is Apoloi. So that Jikini Ami Bostor to Porisilu, Kekini Akoebar. My brain to refresh. Her. Also, try and go through the past papers. It is it is more than likely that if you have done the past papers of the last five years, you will have some common questions at least. And if not entirely common, then you will you will at least have similar questions so that your brain will be able to understand those questions when you see them in the exam. Do make sure that in these last few days you keep yourself hydrated. Zivan para, kiman, pani, fluids, sore pot, saat and that you was to khaba, juice khaba because it's very important to maintain the water balance in your body. Because otherwise you will get fatigued very soon. And when you are fatigued, then as a medical doctor, I can tell you that you will build up lactic acid in your muscles. And it will also cause exhaustion of the brain as well. And therefore the retention capacity will go down and it will also affect your health. So make sure you drink plenty of water, plenty of fluids, Make sure you get adequate rest. Can to pony no more continuous porigole. Your brain will shut down at some point and your retention capacity will go down. So one important strategy is to take a couple of minutes break every hour and possibly close your eyes for a minute every 20 to 30 minutes so that you could just distract your brain and therefore also help in rewiring it, re, uh, re direct your brain. It's almost like restarting the computer if it goes slow. So you're kind of restarting your computer every time you take a break or you close your eyes for a minute. These things really work. It's also important to make sure that you, you do try and do something which will help you relax in between, uh, whether that is watching a little bit of TV, watching uh, something on the mobile. I know your, your mom and dad probably won't like me for saying this. Um, it can even be reading a book that you like, but it is important that you do something which will help you relax a little bit and therefore reduce your stress levels. And that is that is very important as well, because as I said right at the beginning, being relaxed will help in, in retaining more. If you have been told of any mnemonics or any formulas, to remember certain long terms, then try and remember those formulas. Try not to guesswork the questions because it is, it is highly improbable that your guesswork will, will come true because that you know, all the all the examiners or all the question paper setters have been ones who have also gone through the same exams and they know exactly the way you think. So the important thing is honesty. So do try and concentrate more on your stronger subjects, but also don't don't try and and uh, not pay attention 
to the subjects that you don't like. Again, within the subjects, say for example, if you are uh, particularly worried about maths, I'm sure there are certain topics within maths that you are, you like them more or you are stronger at. For example, I used to like calculus and algebra more than I used to like trigonometry. So therefore, I try to spend more time in, in doing those topics that I really liked rather than slogging myself at the topics that I didn't feel I was very strong at. But it's it's also essential that you you try and devote your time according to the marks that are being set for each topic. For example, if you feel that there are 10 marks to calculus and five marks in trigonometry, then obviously you should try and spend more time in doing uh, more calculus than in more in trigonometry. I'm just giving you an example that might not be the case, but but basically you spend your last few days before the exam into the topics that carry more marks and whether that is science whether that's social studies whether that is literature so try and do do them also there are certain things which is more black and white than gray for example if we are talking about english or assamese certain things like English grammar would have more black and white marks, which means that if you if you do them correctly, you will you will definitely secure those marks. Whereas on the other hand, if it's a literature uh, subject where you have been asked to describe a certain certain thing or to write an essay, then it can be quite subjective and and, and it can depend on the mood of the examiner or of the person who's checking your paper as to how many marks you get. And two students do writing almost similar essays might get two different marks. Whereas if it's grammar and you do your grammar correctly, then irrespective of whoever marks you, you will get the same mark. So therefore, Try and concentrate more on those things which are more black and white and which will give you more marks. The other important thing which I have found to be very true in my case, especially in subjects where you can draw, use your drawing as much as possible. For example, in geography, in science, in subjects like biology, physics, use your diagrams to the maximum. The diagrams don't have to be fantastic. You do not have to be a fantastic artist to do that. As long as you can give an idea of what you are trying to portray, then please use the diagrams. A diagram or a picture speaks a thousand words. So, Ziman para tomar bohi khonot answer sheet khonot so bi akiba zetiai para chance bo kiba ta opportunity ahe je kuna ta question that is so bi akiba bujabole chesta koriba being in medicine for all these years i have always found that putting in any diagram in your answer always helps so do try and make it as pictorial as possible that will definitely help and it will impress the examiner it is also important to have a good handwriting now i know it's it's a very difficult thing uh, to talk about because uh, especially when you're writing in speed then your handwriting may not be the best and and you know again as a doctor you know, there is almost a saying that says that if you have got a, got a good handwriting, you are not a good doctor. But that's not always true. It doesn't mean that you have got to have absolutely amazing cursive writing. No, what I mean to say is that your handwriting should be legible. 
যে তুমি যেটু লিখা সেটু যাতে তোমার এক্সামিনারে বেশি কষ্ট নোহাকে পড়িব পারে তুমি এন লিখিছা নে আর লিখিছা ইট ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট তুমি জে লিখিছা নে আই লিখিছা দ্যাট ইজ অলসো ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট সো ইট ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু ক্রস দ্য টিজ এন্ড ডট দ্য আইজ এজ উই সে ইন ইংলিশ সিমিলারলি ওয়েন ইউ আর রাইটিং ওয়েন ইউ আর রাইটিং নাম্বারস মেক শিওর ইউ রাইট ইউর নাম্বারস প্রপারলি so that there is no confusion on whether it's a 2 or a 3 or it's a 3 or a 5 that sort of thing so to make sure that you don't have to have calligraphic writing but when you write you write it clearly write it legibly so that it is easily readable by your examiner and if an examiner if me as an examiner when i used to check books i always loved a copy that is neat and tidy a an answer sheet that is neater and tidier then someone else's will always give a better impression to the exam to the copy checker and will invariably carry more marks so do try and do that it is not necessary that you write loads and loads but when you are writing an answer always make sure that the beginning and the end of an answer especially if it's a long answer question it's the beginning and the end that matters the most because the examiner will always make their decision or have the impression within the first few lines of your answer and that will decide whether they they go ahead and read the whole answer or whether they just decide to give you marks on the basis of what you had written in the first few lines and similarly on how you are closing your answer and so these are small small things which makes a huge difference and i can carry on you know i am i'm talking some of these from my own experiences and i was i was lucky enough with a way to score pretty good marks uh in my matriculation examination and i i received um, i got into cotton college um uh, which was a premier institution at that time and to get into cotton college was like a dream for everyone and i said yeah my roll number was roll number 12 uh so i did a pretty decent job i feel at that time and in fact i was among the top 20 students of the state and we were taken on a tour of assam by the tea auction center the tea board bank in 1991 so having said that um uh, coming back to the things that really matter so it is it is again important that you use every moment of these last few days to the best of your advantage so try and keep a calm mind try not to get into arguments because he will obviously feel tense and therefore irritable but you know any arguments any confrontation with with your siblings with your friends with your parents and all will only harm you not anyone else so keep calm take care of your health that's very important we often undermine that because the last thing you would want to do is to fall sick just before your exam so avoid doing things where there are chances of getting injured because that can also affect uh your health and therefore your performance treat the exam day as being on the stage and it's just those 3 hours that you have to perform unfortunately the way it is that irrespective how good or bad 
how dedicated and since they had been in the whole year, what really counts are those three hours. And therefore, how you perform in those three hours will, will decide what your future is going to be. But that is not the end of the world. What is really important is that you do your best and you try to be the best that you can. So have the belief in yourself. The pariba, bhalke pariba, jikini tumalke imandin porisa, kekini monot koribo sesta koriba, potitu bostu, ekdom word by word memorize koribo sesta no koriba, karan ketu kora tu hombob no hoi, and if you then forget a little bit of what you have memorized, then it will send you into a panic, and therefore you will it will affect your whole answer so try and try and just remember some bullet points or some keywords for those answers and generally jodi tumar concept to clear hoy ase titia hole tumar question to jene kwa dhorone no khud ho you will be able to do it you know there is a conception that exams are set so that examinees will fail. That's not true. All your teachers want you to pass. All your teachers want you to achieve good marks. And their intention is to help you in the best possible way. But of course, the ones who have, done, who have worked harder should be fairly rewarded. So therefore, there is this competition. So, but don't compete with anyone else. Your competition is not with the person sitting next to you or the person who had scored more or less than you. Your competition is with yourself. You want to do well for your own sake. I know we often put ourselves under pressure as to what our parents will think, what our teachers will think, what the society will say if I don't do well. But remember, this is your exam, this is your life, this is for you. So irrespective of what others think, don't worry about that. Do it for yourself, do the best you can, and you will do very, very well. This is my promise to you, this is my assurance to you. And if you have any questions, just write on the chat box or ask us or you subscribe to Aspire Academy online coaching on our website www.aspireacademycoaching.com and we will see you again on our video chats and if you are not aware let me tell you again we are holding live sessions every single day with the MCQs and questions which are most likely to come in your exams. So do check out our channel and subscribe to this channel so that you get regular updates of our live sessions. All our teachers are fantastic. Anmol ma'am, Muskan ma'am, Supriti ma'am, and, and all our other teachers, including Hirok sir, Brigu sir, Redip sir, they are all trying their best and they will be giving you the top tips and the top MCQs for the exams. So do watch them. It will not be wasting your time. It will help you towards it. And I am Dr. Bhaskar Bora. I am the CEO of Aspire Academy. I am a medical doctor and I am also a student and career counselor. And I will be with you till your exams are over every step of the way and we will keep you inspired and I am available for any questions that you have and you can email me or you can check on the Aspire website. Uh, my email is enquire.aspireacademy at gmail.com. So we are here for you and hopefully we will, we will see you in the coming year as well where you will be enrolling and studying with us so that you can study with fun 
you can learn with fun and we will be there to support you all the way. I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.